Well, hello. <laughs> this is the Compassion Initiative podcast, back after only nine <laughs> months or something. And uh, my name's Stan Steindl, and I'm here with my dear friend and colleague, Dr. James <laughs> Kirby. Hello, James. Hi, Stan. I love your t-shirt. Thank you very much. You're looking I, great. Yeah. <laughs> I love your t-shirt too. <laughs> the green really suits you. It's a very soothing colour. Yes. <laughs> So just for, for those of you who are um, listening on audio only, we are now wearing quite a fashion statement. It's the, <laughs> it's the Compassionate Mind Research Group. Um, what are these called? The, the polo? polo shirt. Yeah, polo shirt. Cheers. Yeah. So um, many thanks to, to Kirsty Kent yes. for the, the beautiful design uh, there, the sort of logo, I guess. Yes and organising these t-shirts. We have um, bright green and also uh, white options. Uh, so yes, <laughs> we are also filming, <laughs> that's why That's why all of the visual descriptions. But, um, oh, of course. Yeah, so I I'll, what you were doing. I'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll put this up on, on YouTube as well. But yeah, last time we, we did a podcast, James. We we committed to monthly uh, sort of episodes, and yeah. um, it's a good example of how even the strongest commitment language yes. doesn't necessarily guarantee, you know, behaviour change. Yeah, you're um, not wrong. I mean, um, just so the listeners know, I was committed. Stan just kept dishing me, like pushing me off to the side. It, yeah. I felt very inadequate. Oh, <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Um, but no, it's been a it's been a tough year Very for tough, everyone yeah. all all around the world. world. And and you know, largely, uh, it was a result of kind of, I guess, hunkering down. Really, haven't mm -hmm. we? we? You've mm -hmm. you've been working from home. I was mm -hmm. working from home. Lots of telehealth for me. And you were trying to um, navigate your way around Zoom lectures and yes. and so on and so forth. And we've now come to the end of university semester. I Think. Yep. And um, and also we're very grateful that here in Australia uh, there's a bit more normalcy mm. now. Mm. Um, community transmissions are, are, are very low, I think, throughout the country, so especially yep. over the last week or two. And and so here we are, yeah. back at UQ. Yeah. It was heartwarming to um, to drive into the the university the and to be. And to be back. Yeah, no, totally. It's been um, uh, an intense sort of six, nine months with everything that's happened. But uh, coming back in and seeing people's faces and saying hello to each other and so on has been a, a real joy, actually. Mm. Um, and, and as is this, seeing you in the mm. flesh, it's been a, long, mm. been a long time. Seeing you on Zoom many times. And, and I've seen, yeah. the, you know, the transforming hairstyles. Uh -huh. Also, yes. <laughs> that yes. you've been sporting over the last six-month period. I know. So it's been good to track that. Yeah. Yeah. You're uh, wearing a cap today. I, I well, I, I've actually in the last little while, I, I've got myself a hairbrush. Right. <laughs> so this has been quite a development, and not only a hairbrush, but even some product. Right. So <laughs> I'm experimenting with. <laughs> brushing my hair and, and <laughs> using product yep. at the moment. I mean, we we tackle the big issues on this Big podcast. issues on the <laughs> Compassion Initiative podcast. But, I mean, you've been keeping really busy during this six months. I mean, yeah, there was a bit of hunker down and, and trying to get things transitioning smoothly to mm. telehealth and online Zoom uh, teaching. Uh, but, goodness, how many episodes of Compassion in a T-shirt did you put out during that period? <laughs> Compassion in a T-shirt, yeah. That's your well, YouTube video series. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I, I, actually, I'm not exactly sure, but I, I do aim for one a week. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we've... I, I, as you know, I, I got to thir the 35th episode, and, and, um, and since then, I, I'm not sure what I'm up to now. It might be 40-something. But, yeah, so I've been doing a... A what is CFT kind of series, trying yeah, yeah, to yeah. to think about um, moving from compassion and self compassion generally, and and towards you know what is what is CFT and kind of the the steps along the way in that. Mm. 
and, and I mean, thirty-five plus is quite a lot. Like, did you ever think it would get to that number? Was that always an aim of the series to have this kind of longevity? With the... Yeah. Well, it got it. it I, I was first inspired actually by you in a way, <laughs> James. Um, <laughs> Because you've got your research, pro- I care research project. Oh, um, right. yeah, yeah. And I had the lovely role of being a bit of a talking head, talking to video on that. And so I wanted to practice, yeah. you know, what it was like to talk to video. Yeah. And um, so that was sort of where it began. Yeah. And then YouTube is a funny place, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's a funny place. It, it's not. <laughs> Not yeah. easy. How so? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's sort of all the algorithm stuff, you know. Yeah. Like, how do you actually yeah. kind of um, get get seen or, or get suggested, you know? And and at this stage, it's still very low level. Um, but one of the things that they recommend is you know regular posting. So ah, I've just been sort of yeah. working away, having yeah. fun, trying to get these little weekly YouTube clips out. Oh, they're great. I mean, some of them have the, 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 the best and creative titles, like, you know, the Shakespeare one and the Harry oh, Potter yes. one and so yes. on. They're yes. just fun ways of getting you in and you and you, you have your your, your stand jokes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we did, which are fantastic. Yes, some of those are a bit... Uh, sort of represent me as a father, <laughs> yeah. I suppose. They're, they're dad jokes. I was going to say that. <laughs> But you'll have to have, a, a, obviously, a special in the series with this T-shirt on. Yeah, but see, the, is this a T-shirt? That's what, Oh, you know, right, it's, yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a yeah. polo shirt. I, I yeah. feel it, it's sort of almost, you know, kind of mixed modalities then. So you haven't got one with any polos. It's all been it's all, neck it's T-shirts. All t-shirts. <laughs> right. It's all t- well, I guess you can't then. Yeah. Bugger. Yeah. But see, I guess the thing for me, and really thinking about it this year as we've been hunkered down is this notion of disseminating CFT. Mm, mm. Like I just feel that it's such a powerful approach, you know, and it's really gathering momentum in a research sense. You yeah. know, there's, we, yeah. we know more and more all the time about compassion and self-compassion and some of the, the, the inhibitors there, the fears, blocks and resistances and how to work with them and where we can bring compassion or the compassionate self to working with you know some of the different emotional selves you know that but not not least self-criticism and shame and it's such a powerful approach and and i guess this is part of the driver you know like Mm. how can we all Mm. um work towards disseminating some of that yeah and and the compassion in a t-shirt it feels like there are almost two arms of that of audience that it's trying to target in terms of its dissemination and and one is um, you know your practitioners and researchers who are just interested in finding out more about mm. this approach but there's some really helpful stuff in there that you could apply to yourself just in terms of a self-help capacity mm. um, so it's really clever I don't know if that was intentional or if it was just kind of like mm. um, you know just has naturally flowed out that there are some stuff in there which is really helpful to think about in terms of a clinician researcher kind of mind but then equally, there are some really cool things that you go through and bring up that I can go, ooh, I could do that for my own. Yeah, <laughs> Good right. criticism. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. really kind of neat. Yeah, that is interesting. I, I don't know that I have been conscious about that, but rather, um, yeah, just trying to make all of them fairly practical yes. and plain language. That That's probably more... You thrive at that. What I, I'm much better with plain <laughs> language. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Being... Poetic or super, you know, like intellectual? No. Oh, but plain language, I can nail that. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. And also, uh, so some of them have been like part one and part two. Yeah, so like the part yeah. one is often yeah. more the descriptive bit and then the yeah. part, part two might be a, a practice or yeah. something like that. But, oh, it's uh, awesome. And um, I mean, they're getting lots of views and uh, certainly I think the way, bit, yeah. oh, the way you've delivered them is, is terrific. Um, do yeah. you ever see an end in, in sight for that? Or is that just going to be something... You're going to cut back from weekly to fortnightly, maybe just to take a bit of pressure off? Or? Well, I, I do ease it off occasionally. I mean, it, it is funny because all of them are under 10 minutes. Yep. But they all take literally five, six, eight hours to do. 
you yeah, know, for, for 10 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's, it is extraordinary. Yeah. And it's all, if you, because it, it's, it's the writing of it. So yeah. you, write, you kind of got to work it out and write the script. Mm. Then you got to, um, you know, kind of film it. And that's, well, often that gets slowed down because you run out of batteries or, you know, <laughs> there's something. Yeah. And, and then, um, and then all of the, the kind of the editing and then even putting it up on YouTube, you know, often takes, yeah. A couple of goes, or, yeah. or it, it sort of takes. And don't an forget the hair like, preparation. The hair preparation. I usually try to do some manscaping. <laughs> uh, so, and, and every now and then I'll, I'll do a take, and then I'll realise, oh, there's a really long grey hair coming out of my eyebrows. So then I have to retake it, and you know, like it's just. <laughs> so Is that threat there, or? Red yeah, circle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sort of, certainly a socially self-conscious emotion that, that arises, <laughs> some sort of um, embarrassment or even shame. But it it absolutely is um, a big investment of time and energy um, mm. putting these things together, which you know you kind of can quickly kind of oh yeah that was cool and you keep going and you forget behind the scenes just the mm. effort and time and thought that's been mm. put into some of these and I know I found them hugely. Uh, both enjoyable and also just uh, helpful for myself trying to think about how would I start to break down some of these things because you're often asked things like you know what measures would you use Mm. you know Mm. if you're doing CSU or how would you do like an assessment or something Mm. like that yeah Um, Mm. how would you start to pull together a a bit of a formulation Mm. and sometimes now instead of having to write back a lengthy email or here's a paper it's like oh here's a little clip 10 minutes (laughs) of this guy called Stan Uh, (laughs) and um, it just it just packages it together quite nicely because you include links to things as well Mm. yes so I mean that all takes a lot of time and effort Mm. so it's I mean it's great as a resource so I guess one of the things I'd highly recommend if you haven't checked it out is um, checking out on YouTube um, Dr. Stan Stein or Compassion in a T-shirt. If you just type that in, it would come up. Subscribe um, and like the videos. <laughs> and um, there are a great sort of wealth of, of resource there for your, your budding CFT researcher and practitioner. Yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, and I think it's part of just a real worldwide, you know, kind of momentum mm. that's, that's building. You know, 365 Days of Compassion uh, is an enormously um, important sort of dissemination of all things compassion. Um, things like CFT Made Simple with yeah. Russell Colts, that the Facebook page there is is a really great community and yes. and, and and so on. No, there are a number of things like um, and Hannah Gilbert is very good at, at, at disseminating uh, through compassion uh, compassion mind newsletters. A lot of the, the great stuff Absolutely, that's happening yes. uh, across yeah. the world of compassion. Um, mm. But also um, uh, recently, uh, Paul Paul Gilbert has been really fantastic at pushing his. Um, Compassion and Safe Relating lecture series, mm. which is also freely available. Um, just hop, hop on the Compassionate Mind uh, Foundation website, or it could be on the Compassionate Wellbeing website. It is, Anna's actually. yeah. Um, and yeah. it's like a 14, 15 part series where Paul mm. has been um, talking about compassion and how it's directly related to um, the current COVID situation mm. and ways that we can understand compassion in, mm. this, in this context and how it can be really helpful. It's yeah. extraordinary um, amount of effort in that as well. Freely yeah. available. Mm. Um, I refer people to that a lot yeah. as well. You know, and he's done similarly to you. He's like brought in not only the research and science, but he does practices in it as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's it's a, a, a wonderful resource that, that they've created. He actually um, mentioned something kind of cool in there. And I know we're coming to the end of our time. Um, but uh, he mentioned something really cool in one of them recently around this idea of using um, compassionate music as an energy force. Oh. Um, sort of often when we think of compassion, we can overemphasize um, the emotion, um, you know, the, the affiliative functioning of the green circle and be so kind of keen on soothing mm. to help us stay with or bring us down at like a bit of a safe haven. But equally, there are contexts where we really need to be um, engaged, uh, mm. energized, enthused, mm. and how music can not only be helpful at bringing down a soothing calming when we're overwhelmed or chaotic, but also equally in order to give ourselves kind of that drive or or willingness to engage. Um, mm. Energizing music can be fairly awe inspiring in that way. Mm. And I was just thinking mm. about your music um, and how you've got a couple of terrific tracks on mm. the Compassion Initiative podcast. Have you put any thought into? how different music will be 
very helpful depending on the context you're faced with in order mm. of soothing to be compassionate yeah. or energizing to yeah. be compassionate. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about music. I have been working with some people around drive imagery. So we often do safe place imagery, yes. yeah, yeah, which yeah. is that soothing, affiliative kind of activation. But I've really found drive... I, I haven't come up with a way to sort of say it, and maybe this is a thing already, but um, yeah, drive imagery. You yeah, know, yeah, sort yeah. of bringing to mind feelings of awe or, or feelings of achievement or yeah. other things. So cool. to music is is very interesting. In fact, um, yes, it's it's actually World Kindness Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I saw you tweeted today <laughs> a James Kirby special, <laughs> a loving kindness meditation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so, yeah, well, it, you've just reminded me yeah, that the, the, the music one that we've done is Anthony Garcia and I did the loving kindness meditation for self, but to music. So yeah. that was more the sort of the, the calming, slowing... Um, soothing type music accompaniment. But yes, that is very interesting. Oh, yeah. If, um, I, I think that this idea of getting you excited or energised mm. in order to engage with, with suffering and trying to, you know, help people, you know, of all walks of life is... is, is I mean, it gets you excited. You, you mm. want to... I, I kind of want to stand up out of my seat, as, as, mm. I, as I say. It's a different energy force. And, mm. and yeah. bringing that in is so cool. It's so cool to hear about the imagery you're doing with... Mm. Um, yeah, you know the compassionate driving or compassionate yes, energy or whatever. Yes, exactly. It is. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Cool. Well, Paul makes the very important point that compassion isn't just the soothing system. Yeah, that's right. You know, it can be textured with a range of yeah. emotions. Yeah. You know, that, that become a part of compassion and, and compassionate action. Yeah, totally. Well, um, bringing this one to an end, big guy. Um, what's on the horizon for you? I know there's some cool sort of things in the works. Yeah, well, well, just as a a, a little teaser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is it. <laughs> it's very good. No, I'm I'm looking forward to 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 uh, having a, a a book come out soon. Um, so yeah, oh, that's we'll we'll see. But um, but no, the uh, Stephen May from uh, um, the uh, oh Australian Academic Press. Um, is uh, yes, publishing a book with me, and, How and good. Um, yeah, it's going to be called "The Gifts of Compassion." Dude, how good is that? I cannot mm. wait to get my hands on a coffee. I've been pestering you for God knows how. Well, send me the bloody chapter so I can have a read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, well, it's 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 fun. It's it's sort of uh, it's going to be kind of like a, a self help type book, or maybe like a. a, a therapy companion book is yes. sort of sometimes how okay. I think about it a little cool. bit as well and and so lots of you know plain language because <laughs> that's my specialty can I ask have you put images in there like you're so good with your drawing no I'm, is there any capacity to do that no, no the publishers actually don't don't love that they, they yeah, prefer okay. to get yeah. proper artists to yeah oh okay well I mean you're very yeah, good yeah, yeah. No, no, it's it's main, but actually, it, it is, I don't know if I've even told you this, but it's it's going to be the book, the mm. gifts of compassion, and mm. there's going to be a companion book called the gifts of compassion, personal workbook. Oh, cool! Personal practice workbook. Oh, right. <laughs> so it's a two part series. In it's some a, it's it's sort of yeah. One is just the book with all the content, and yeah. the other is all of the uh, kind of exercises oh, and a place okay. to write things down. And Fantastic. so we're keeping those two elements two separate. Separate. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Oh man, congratulations! I'm ho- I'd love it to be out by Christmas, yeah, but yeah, I'm not sure. Be, yeah, we'll what, see. We'll what see. is the time frame? Like, well, there, there was there was talk that it would be out, but you know, sort of soon, you know, in time for Christmas. But um, I, I did receive a, a second proof to, uh, just during the week, so oh. it's getting close. It's oh, getting dude, close. this is so exciting! You must be pumped. Yeah, like, yeah I'm it'll pumped be good. It, it'll not. be good. It's interesting. It activates. Self-conscious emotions, you know, it's nerve, pride, nerve-wracking. Pride, pride, self-conscious no, emotions, because that's what it should more be. More fear and, oh, and sort of uh, external shame. No! Whoa! So you got to push, we got to push through these <laughs> these tricky brain that's things. That it's going to be sensational. I, 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 we'll I, see. I mean, the energy and the, the enthusiasm and, and, and just the, the way you convey a lot of these complex sort of constructs within CFT. Um, in the videos and in the papers you've written, I know you've also recently published a 
a case study with Marcella Maddox looking at um, mm. CFT applied to perfectionism. Mm. I mean, the way you're kind of breaking it down for people to, 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 to be able to take away and start to use is, is, uh, is unbelievable. It's so well, helpful. Well, I think that's all of our kind of task, you know, in a way. One task is to keep researching it and to sort of, you know, evaluate what we're doing. And the other task is to disseminate it and to, to kind of get it out there and for people to feel confident to use CFT. Oh, dude, and you're doing that so well. Um, I'm Good, mate. Yeah, no, great to see you. I love the shirt, good colour on you. Yeah, no, I think the green really <laughs> brings the colour out in your eyes. <laughs> and are we going to do one next month? Or what's the deal? I think we should. <laughs> let's, let's not kind of over-promise and under-deliver again. I mean, I think we'll... we've liked this because we've almost gone twice the length we it's usually do. It's been fun. Do. Yeah, good. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. See you soon. Good on you, mate. Catch you then. (laughs)